In this video, we'll talk about GLP-1 agonist and when should you consider taking this class of medication. Some examples of GLP-1 agonist are Bidurion, Ozempic, Trulicity, and Victoza. Their generic names are in the brackets. They reduce A1C by about 1 to 2 points. They help people lose weight. Most people will be able to lose about 10 to 20 pounds. However, they come as injection. Some of them are once a day injection like Victoza. Others are once a week, like Bidurion, Ozempic, and Trulicity. Some people feel nauseous or stomach pain after the first injection, but most people will be able to tolerate it after the second or third injection. If you feel too much nausea or stomach pain, do not take it anymore, as it can cause pancreatitis, although I have to say that's very rare. You should consider taking this class of medication when you are overweight and have type 2 diabetes and your blood sugar is still not at target despite metformin. You should not take this class of medication if you have pancreatitis, which is inflammation of the pancreas, pancreas cancer, or a rare form of thyroid cancer called medullary thyroid carcinoma. Some people ask me, how do I know if I had pancreatitis before? For most people, I would say if you had it, you would have known that, because it is a lot of pain in the stomach, and you would have been hospitalized for pancreatitis. Also, some patients told me that they had thyroid cancer before, but they don't know how to find out if it was medullary thyroid carcinoma. For that one, you have to look at the pathology reports of the thyroid cancer. Since there are quite a few GLP-1 agonists, which one should I choose? I do not favor one over another. I think it depends on which one is covered by your insurance. If your kidney function is very low, however, do not take Bidurion or Biata. Let's look at example. A gentleman who is taking metformin for type 2 diabetes. He's overweight and he wants to lose weight in order to reverse diabetes. His A1C is 7.9 despite metformin. He has no contraindication to GLP-1 agonist. No history of pancreatitis, pancreas cancer, or medullary thyroid carcinoma. We decided to start Trulicity 0.75 mg every week, which is the lowest dose of Trulicity. The reason we prescribe Trulicity is because that's the only one GLP-1 agonist covered by his insurance and we continue metformin. He felt a little nauseous after the first injection, but got used to it after the second injection, so we increased Trulicity to its maximal dose at 1.5 mg every week. His A1C came down to 6.7 three months later, and he was able to lose 15 pounds. 